So, we're at that time where the current game, 2K17, has got a lot of old, and the focus now on the long road to the next game, 2K18, has officially begun. Now, as we head towards the next game in the series, one of the main questions that's going to be asked is what new superstars can we expect to see in the new game? Well, today's video takes a look at this, with this one being the top 10 new superstars that we will be seeing in 2K18. Kicking us off at the number 10 spot, it is none other than James Ellsworth. Now yes, the very unlikely WWE Superstar has appeared prominently at times during the last year or so, so he was seen like a very likely inclusion for the next game in the series. Now whilst he might not have been necessarily the most anticipated new superstar, he does have somewhat of a fun factor, and who doesn't want to see the master of the Nocha music on the 2K18 roster? At the number 9 spot, it is the Brian Kendrick. Now this one of course won't be Kendrick's first game in the series, as he has appeared in multiple with his most recent one being SVR 2010. Now as far as cruiserweights go, it could be expected that 2K, given the figure they've had in the last year, will be adding a fair few. And in terms of the cruiserweights, Brian Kendrick as a former cruiserweight champion seems like one of the most likely inclusions that we're going to be seeing. Moving on, and to the number 8 spot on the countdown, another former Cruiserweight Champion, this time it is TJ Perkins. Now like Kendrick, if 2K are looking to add some Cruiserweights to the roster, then TJ Perkins seems like a very likely addition. Now it's already pretty clear that 2K have got some Perkins love, given that several of his signature moves were added to 2K17 as DLC, and even his trademark taunts. This will of course be TJ Perkins' WWE Games series debut, and will no doubt be a fun addition to this year's roster. Next up at the number 7 spot, it is the Man Beast, Rhino. Now given that Rhino had a brief run of NXT before 2K17 was released, given that since that time he has had an increased role on TV and even been a tag team champion with Heath Slater, it seems like a sure thing that this time Rhino will make this year's roster. Old school fans will of course already know that this won't be Rhino's first appearance in this series, as he originally appeared way back in the days of Smackdown Just Bring It, with his most recent appearance taking place in the original SmackDown vs Raw, released in 2004. At number 6, it is Tommaso Ciampa. Now, without doubt, DIY have been one of the better tag teams and most consistent tag teams in recent memory, so his inclusion as part of the tag team would seem very likely. Also, keep in mind, some of Ciampa's moves already exist in the game, so it seems like the seeds are already planted for this year's full-on inclusion. Which brings us nicely to number 5, because up next, it is the other half of DIY, it is Johnny Gargano. Now, like Champa, many of Gargano's moves are already in the game, even including the DIY tag team finisher. With this tag team appearing regularly in NXT since 2015, it seems like a pretty sure thing they will be included on the 2K18 roster. That said, DIY are of course one of the better tag teams going today, so they will make for a top-notch tag team addition to this year's 2K18 tag team roster. At number 4, sticking with NXT, it is the glorious one, yes we are talking about Bobby Roode. Now of course in 2K17, Bobby Roode didn't quite make the roster, nor its DLC, but this time around without doubt, Bobby Roode will be on the 2K18 roster. As we know, each year, 2K like to expand on their in-game NXT roster, and in terms of NXT over the last 12 months, you don't think of that brand without thinking of the current NXT champion. Roode's inclusion as a big name, and as a name we've not had previously, will of course be pretty badass as is getting a certain glorious theme song added to this year's music tracks.
But from the glorious one to the broken one, yes, at number three, it is Matt Hardy. Given that Matt's very recent high profile return to the company at WrestleMania, you would definitely think that 2K would love to have the Hardy Boys on board for the next game in the series. Now whether that comes as part of the standard roster or even DLC, that might be debatable. But what's not debatable is that many fans of the series, like myself, will love having the Hardy Boys once again back in the series. Matt Hardy's last appearance took place as part of the SPR 2011 roster. So, seven years on, it seems that the time is now for Matt Hardy to return to the series and to delete the entire 2K18 roster. From Matt Hardy to his brother, because yes, we knew he'd come. At number two, it is of course, Jeff Hardy. Again, both Matt and Jeff returned to the company at WrestleMania and will once again, no doubt, be a massive name that 2K would love to add to this year's game. Whether as part of a Hardy Boys tag team or a single superstar, Jeff Hardy, no doubt, will be a top-notch addition to your in-game roster. Now, 2K18 will be Jeff Hardy's first appearance since SVR 2010. So, Jeff Hardy fans, fear not. His long-awaited WWE Games return is surely not too far away. However, taking the top spot at number one, how could it not be? It's true, it's true, it's Kurt Freakin' Angle. Now, as far back as last year, there were rumours of a potential WWE Games return, but given that since that time, Kurt Angle has of course been inducted in the Hall of Fame, a thing that for the last two years, 2K have focused on with DLC, it seems almost guaranteed at this point that 2K18 will mark the return of the former Olympic gold medalist. For many, like myself, this will be the biggest and most anticipated returns to the series in quite some time, with it being over 10 years since its last appearance, taking place in SVR 2007, which is pretty damn crazy in its own right. Now, given that Angle has been gone for over a decade, there has of course been some pretty massive roster changes, with many new dream matches now to be had. Whether these matches take place in an actual ring might be debatable, but what we do know is that we have the next best thing, the ability to now do these in this year's upcoming game. That said, Kurt Angle is back home in the WWE, and more importantly for 2K fans, Kurt Angle returns home to the WWE Game Series for 2K18. And there we go, that is my top 10 new superstars that we will be seeing for 2K18. So let me know your thoughts on my 10 as well as your own 10 in the comment section of this video. Stay tuned to the channel for more 2K18 videos like this coming very, very soon. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one. He might have gotten the pinfall, but no one walks away from a match like that on stage. Oh, you're out of the game. He will be hurt for certain tomorrow. I'll tell you what, JR. Hitting the win takes a lot of the edge off of the pain.